Many years ago there lived a little boy in Boston. On the day that he was seven years old, his mother gave him a few pennies. He looked at the bright, yellow pieces and said, What shall I do with these coppers mother? It was the first money that he had ever had. You may buy something if you wish, said his mother. And then will you give me more? He asked. His mother shook her head and said, No my child. I cannot give you any more. So you must be careful not to spend these foolishly. The little fellow ran into the street. He heard the pennies jingle in his pocket. How rich he was. As he ran down the street, he wondered what he should buy. Should he buy candy? He hardly knew how it tasted. Should he buy a pretty toy? If he had been the only child in the family, things might have been different. But there were fourteen boys and girls older than he, and two little sisters who were younger. What a big family it was! And the father was a poor man. No wonder the lad had never owned a toy. He had not gone far when he met a larger boy, who was blowing the whistle. I wish I had that whistle, he said. The big boy looked at him and blew it again. Oh, what a pretty sound it made! I have some pennies, said the little boy. He held them in his hand, and showed them to the boy. You may have them, if you will give me the whistle. All of them? Yes, all of them. Well, it's a bargain, said the boy, and he gave the whistle to the little boy, and took the pennies. The little boy was very happy, for he was only seven years old. He ran home as fast as he could, blowing the whistle as he ran. See mother, I have bought a whistle. He said. How much did you pay for it? All the pennies you gave me. Oh my boy. One of his brothers asked to see the whistle. Well well. He said. You've paid a dear price for this thing. It's only a penny whistle, and a poor one at that. You might have bought half a dozen such whistles with the money I gave you, said his mother. The little boy saw what a mistake he had made. The whistle did not please him anymore. He threw it upon the floor and began to cry. Never mind my child, said his mother, very kindly. You are only a very little boy, and you will learn a great deal as you grow bigger. The lesson you have learned today is never to pay too dear for a whistle. The name of that little boy is Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States. He lived to be a very old man, but he never forgot that lesson. He constructed a common decision-making technique called the Decisional Balance Sheet, which represents the pros and cons of different choices, and helps someone decide what to do in a certain circumstance. His life and legacy of scientific and political achievement and his status as one of America's most influential founding fathers, have seen Franklin honored more than two centuries after his death on, the 50 cent piece, the $100 bill, warships, and the names of many towns, counties, educational institutions and corporations, as well as numerous cultural references. If you want to encourage us to create more narration like this, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. This is the Race Horse Channel, a storyteller.